So today we're going to show you guys how to test a uh, ASSC 1020 pressure vacuum breaker using the ASSC 5000 uh, series test procedures. Uh, they're pretty close to the other test procedures. They are one hose. Uh, there is a three hose version. We use the one hose version. Uh, they're both legal for as far as ASSC 5000. Um, so for this test, we're going to use the, T the Kruger Instruments TK2. It's a two valve test kit and one hose and that's pretty much all you need these two things um depending on what kind of canopy you have you're going to need probably some kind of like phillips screwdriver or um, crescent wrench to open it up if you're in the field um, also depending on what kind of test cocks you have you're probably going to need a flathead screwdriver uh, whereas uh, with us we have the these uh, valve ones that are kind of easier for testing and doing uh, backflow courses so anyway, let's get started. Um, first step is to bleed the test cock. So you open test cock one and close. Open test cock two and close. Remove canopy from air inlet valve. You verify the orientation of each shutoff valve. Number one must be open Number two may be closed, so you might be testing it uh, when it's like actually winterized or off for some reason. Might be closed, it might be open, but you just verify that number one is open and number two may, may be closed or open. Close all gauge needle valves. Open the gauge high bleed valve. So there's a high side and a low side. Just bleed the high bleed and low bleed. So you open the high bleed valve. Open test cock two with trickle flow. Then you attach the hose to the high side and test cock two. Once water flows from the bleed bypass hose, close the needle valve. And then you open test cock two completely. That whole thing facilitates that uh, you don't jump the gauge, uh, the, the pointer, it could end up accelerating very rapidly and hitting the side of the gauge. So when you do the trickle flow and the open high bleed and close high bleed, it uh, makes it a little smoother. Move on to test one, air inlet opening. You verify that shut off two is closed and then you also shut, test, shut shut off valve one. When you're doing that, you wanna make sure that the gauge is level with whatever you're testing. So in this case, we're testing the, uh, the air inlet. Slightly open gauge high bleed valve, and you'll notice the pressure starts going down, and you don't want it to go down too fast. And you wanna put it right next to the air inlet, so once the air inlet opens, you can see it. So we're at four, three, So about 2.2, the air inlet opened. So this just has to be one PSI or greater. You just mark it on your paper and then you close test cock two, remove the gauge hose, open one, shut off one, and then reinstall the canopy. Then you go on to move on to the uh, check valve. You close all of the valves. Open gauge high bleed valve. Open test cock one with trickle flow. Attach the high hose to the test cock. Once water comes through, you shut high bleed. Open test cock one completely. So then you to test the uh, shut off check valve, you shut shut off valve number one. Make the gauge center line with the check valve, or in this case, it's a special circumstance where test cock two is above the check valve. You actually want it to be level with the uh, outlet of, of the test cock. Slowly open test cock two. You'll see it'll settle on a number. And that's the differential pressure across check valve one. You wanna make sure that also stops running first. 
So that number 1.8 would be your differential pressure across check valve one. So you write down those results, shut test cock one, test cock two, remove your equipment, and then you restore the assembly to pre-test condition. So basically if, it, if the shutoff tube was off when you got there, you leave it off. If it was open when you got there, you open it. So that concludes that test.